joint plane movement for the shoulder joint first the uh, AP glide it's an anterior posterior glide so how to perform this so you just support the arm like this and uh, hold your this one arm in this position then uh, just palpate the joint line and give the glide to the anterior posterior Next is the posterior anterior, it's a PA glide. So how to perform that? So again, you can hold the head like this, okay? Then we can here, we can stabilize the acromioclavicular joint and then we can do the posterior anterior glide. Okay, so the next is the caudal glide or we can say the traction. So how to perform this? So, if the patient is not having any elbow joint problem, so we can hold the hand here at the end, we can say of the forearm, then here we can stabilize the acromial joint and or we can feel the joint line here, then we can give the traction like this. Okay, next is the lateral distraction. So, how to perform that? So, again, so stabilize the acromioclavicular joint and then do like this this is lateral distraction so there is one more thing is there we can give the spiro inferior glide into the glide we can keep the arm into the 90 degree okay then hold the arm in the 90 degree and give the little bit traction and then at the head of the humerus, you can give like this. This is a bit of inferior glide, or else you can hold the arm like this, and from the inferior to superior, you can give like this. So, this is all about the joint play movement of the shoulder joint. Thanks.